Hey everyone, it's Friday the 16th of February and it's 20 past 7 in the evening. Right, today's video, we're going to see if we can get this uh, Compact Desk Pro uh, 6400 up and running. So, <laughs> I'm literally recording this the very next day after recording the first video on this. So, went on Amazon last night and bought these. The batteries. They only sold them in packs of 10, unfortunately, but I suppose it's not a bad thing. I've got spares, haven't I? Um, I've also done a bit of prep work. I've got a Seagate hard drive here, 20 gig hard drive. I also found another Windows disk. I found some other um, disks that I forgot about as well. I've got Windows 2000. Uh, I've got Microsoft Works, several of those, Microsoft NT Workstation, Microsoft NT Server, Office 2000, I actually don't know why I've got that one here, and another Microsoft Office 2000, it yeah, has a Belkin, oh, no, there's another Microsoft Office 97, holy moly, there's another one, I'm surprised that's even on a disc, I'm surprised it's not on a floppy, I might, Depending on how I feel, and maybe not on video, I might add, I'll try and add some of them on here. So, one thing I was sort of thinking of trying to do was um, get the heat sink off and perhaps redo the thermal paste on that, because that is most likely going to need doing. Um, the problem is, I don't know how you get the heat sink on or off. So I'm just having a bit of a poke around with it now. I mean, I can see what look like a little bit like um, release tabs, but they don't seem to release anything. I've got a feeling if it does, it just slides in anyway, so... I'm going to leave that as it is for now, but we do need to put the battery in. So, what I will do, I will just readjust your view. So I've got that far ahead and prepped. I've actually got the old hard drive out, which is this one. It's a shame, because it's a quantum. It's not rattling, though. Maybe if I just go... Something like that. I'm going to try that first. I'm going to put a new battery in. I'm just going to bash this a bit and see if we can get it to do anything. Just out of curiosity and for the shits and giggles. Okie dokie, battery, that's what I was trying to sort first. There we go. There's the old one. Try not to dox myself. <laughs> Don't mind people knowing the town I live in and the county, but uh, not my full address. So you get them in two packs. I was talking about this on my server last night and uh, one of my, the members on there said that this was a quite an odd size of battery for a computer. I have to say I've never come across this. One brand new battery. I should check the voltage of that, shouldn't I? Right, I'm going to turn that on here actually. So, like I said, for the giggles and shits, now that I've actually punched this, I don't think it's going to do anything. I think it's too far gone. But... There we go. And this hard drive wasn't screwed in, it was just basically wedged in like that. Which I thought was a bit odd. 
Oh, and I've removed one of the sticks of RAM as well. That's what was causing the uh, issue with this not booting in the other video. Because it started doing it again when I knocked on the worktop. Why is this coming up keyboard error? The keyboard's plugged in. That's why. <laughs> System option not set. Time and date not set. Well, I think while I've actually got this up and running at the moment, I will go in and just do the uh, thingy in a minute. Time and date. I think we might just need to just make a bit of room. I'm just going to move the monitor. I think it's F10, isn't it? Yeah. That's better. No, I can't see it. <laughs> right. That battery can go in the trash. Ah yeah, it's the arrows on the numpad. It's 19. It's only half past seven now. You know, since I actually punched that hard drive, it is sounding better. Kinda. <laughs> uh, a second. 16. Ooh. Definitely not 1980. Four F10, except uh, I think I'm going to have to adjust boot. Well, I can't adjust boot order because I haven't got the bloody CD-ROM drive connected again. See, because it's not showing it up. If it's not connected. It doesn't show it. Uh, escape that then. Time and date is set. Let's see if it's going to boot from that hard drive. I don't think it is. Look, it says it's actually sounding a lot better. Maybe it could have just been a stuck reader. No, we can hear it trying to read again. I'll try it in safe mode. It's not making any I stand correct. It's so not making any noises now. Yeah, it is. Not as bad as it was. Like, wouldn't it be funny if I've actually fixed it? Nah, that's not fixed it. <laughs> Holy crap. Night. We'll swap that out, we'll get everything put back where it's meant to be. Right. Might open that one up just for funsies. We put this Seagate 20 gig in. Now I was convinced that 20 gig was the max, but um, apparently not. Apparently, um, 40 gig is the max. Windows 98 can read. Right, it's got to go in there. Get this in next. So, connect it. So, switch 
it on. Plug on the CD to that one. Oop. Doesn't that sound so much better? <laughs> Oof, it's a bit scratched up, but hopefully it's going to work. CD. Oh, well. There we go. Yep, that's what I want to do. Hold up, buddy. It's been a while since I've done a Windows 98 install, so. You see that all right, just about. That's better. Right, uh, to set up Windows now, press N to load more is a uh, quiz sub. No, all right, so I want to enter. Let's move this out of Mister's way. Remove the files, it's a blank drive anyway, but. Yes, configure it. Oh yeah, that's right, because if you enable that, that should see the larger disk. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done this. It might take a while, but it's not too bad. I should have checked it while I was in the BIOS how much RAM is installed. More than enough for this, I do know. But I'm not sure if the problem's the dim slot, I might have a bit of dirt in it, or if the uh, dim itself is faulty. I can't find it at the minute, and the smudge might actually be laying on it. Uh, oh no, I found it. Yeah, it was the um, it was the first one out of the two that I took out in that last video. I could not get it to um, post until I took this one out. And then it posted fine, so I think the problem with that dim slot or a problem with this. My bets is on this. I bet if I stick a another one in there or a different pair it'll uh, work fine I did find out whoops today that uh, the maximum amount of RAM that Windows 98 would see is 512 megabytes which you thought was quite a lot I'm not pressing enter and confirming on this is it This is actually officially the oldest operating system that I've ever installed on a computer. I've not done a Windows 95 setup yet. I would like to. Uh, this, for an old PS2 ball mouse, this Dell one is actually working really well. Touch wood. Uh. Hmm. Let's 
just thinking, this is going to need a Windows 98 key, isn't it? I don't think I've got one written down. May have to go find one. <laughs> I will take a break, or pause the camera, I should say, while this is doing this. Um, I doubt I will go hunting for drivers in this video. I just want to get this up into a running state more than anything. Oh, that's fine. United Kingdom. Right, while that's doing that, I'm going to see if I can actually find a Windows 98 key somewhere. I won't probably find one online, couldn't I? But I might have a, a laptop or something with one on, because I find anything will work, as long as it's a Windows 98 key. Uh, so I'm going to do that and let this do what it's got to do, and then I will bring you back. Right, we are back. Was it successful? We'll find out. <laughs> it should be. It has installed Windows 98 on it. And I don't even have to install any drivers. The audio worked. I got the um, startup sound for Windows 98. Hopefully it'll do it again. So it seems like I may not even need the drivers I've downloaded because I did find some. And this isn't a 6400 as advertised, that's a completely different system. So there's a bit of a mistake there, it's a... I've literally just been looking it up on the PC, it's a P something or other. Still, it's not a big deal is it? Um, and there's also 64 megs of RAM currently installed. It actually reminds me, I was just in the cupboard as well. I'll try and not chuck all the RAM across the kitchen today. Emphasis on try because there's no guarantees with me. <coughs> would be the bottom one, isn't it? And again, I suppose it would actually stand to reason to be the bottom one as. Uh, it's a style of RAM that I don't use often. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's not very loud, I hope that can be heard. Heard. Oh, there we go. To be honest, for an onboard speaker, that's not too bad. Should have unchecked the box, otherwise it's going to start up again now, isn't it? Well, this looks good, so it doesn't look like I need any of the drivers. I don't know about the NIC. I don't know what I've heard a lot of people call it a NIC, but I have. Um, which is the Ethernet controller. There's no lights lighting up, but I haven't got it plugged in. What I do want to just try is a USB device to see if the USBs Wow. You mean I haven't even got to go and get the uh, USB driver for Windows 98? Let's do that. We'll put the uh, 98 disc back in. Mm -hmm. It might have something on that. If not, then 
may not work. My online device does not recognise it. I might actually have to go and find the uh, a driver for the thumb drives, memory sticks, whatever you want to call them. Well, there we go, it is working. Settings, control panel. I'm not used to a mouse that doesn't have a scroll wheel. It just says Pentium 3 processor. Register 2, Randall and Frog. That's my business. Don't ask, it was just something random I stuck in there. 64 megs of RAM. I vote we have a bit of a play around with the RAM, so let's shut it down. We'll have a look through this box. I'm going to have to move this because I want to get the top on as well. I, I just prefer myself to occupy both of the RAM slots. I don't know why I'm like that. If I can't occupy both, but both, both, I'm going to see if I can just occupy the one with a bigger stick, like 128 meg or a 256. That's the wrong stick. That's the wrong stick as well. It's in the wrong box. Okay. So this is a 256 PC 133. Let's just shove it in, we'll see if it's going to work. And I've got to keep in mind the max is 512 megs, so... Nope. Right, in that case, is it the dim slot that's in need of a good clean? Or is it something else? I'm just going to move if I can get it out. I'm just going to move this one over. I haven't got a, uh, any brush or anything that I could just brush that out with either. We'll worry about that in a minute. Let's just put this known working stick in. Heatsink rather hot. <laughs> nice no, booting fine. So it's not the slot, it is the dim. It's going to want to boot from the disc, isn't it? Just... Got that in there. That's another 256 meg stick. Or maybe it's just not compatible with the one that was in there, but I'm going to have to boot this and shut it down again now, aren't I? Yay! Just, while I was doing that, let's just have a, a look and see what I've got. See, we've got 128 meg. There's another 256. I've got a lot of 256 meg sticks. There's 128, 133. Don't know why I put the password on it. Oh, shut up. Uh. Oh good, that is still in shot. game on this, not really. I haven't got a video card in it. 
suppose you could if I upgraded the video card. I'm stuck right in here. Please boot. Yes. So can I find another 128 meg stick? Or perhaps I could get one of these 256 sticks to work. Yeah, I know the total amount of memory has changed. I changed it. <laughs> That's not what I want. Not what I want. Not what I want. Another one in the wrong freaking box. So it's probably a 64. Another 256 megabyte stick. Ah. That's a 64 PC 100. While I'm thinking of it, <laughs> let's uncheck that box so this doesn't come up anymore. Right, let me just see if I can find another 128 megabyte stick. That's not marked. Those are going to be like 32s or 64s. Two fifty six value RAM. I'm sure I've seen another one of those somewhere. I can see that one's marked. No. Not marked. PC 100, yep, yeah, that's a 64. Is that seriously the only 128 megabyte stick that I've got? It actually does look like it. Put my last stack here. Do you know? I've just realised I've barely heard the hard drive make a noise. At all. Not labelled, is it? No. Got some Samsung. All PC 100, these ones ain't no good. Work with what I've got. Right. I guess all I can do is just see if one of these umpteen sticks of 256 is going to work. Uh, what shall I go with? That one's not actually what I want. There's a twin moss. Whatever twin moss is when it's on. I'm going to try the value round one. Like so. Switch her on, fingers crossed. Hey! Well, she's booting at least. Now, it doesn't necessarily, it's recognised it.
or not. I didn't like that, did it? Let's try again. So I tried to boot to window, is that arid? Don't do it again. Use it hold and boot. Maybe it doesn't like that ram. That's not good, we scrolly thing at the bottom has stopped. Is that just locked up? Am I gonna have to remove a stick of ram? And just uh, make do with 128 megs on this one. Uh, I think that's likely. I'm going to have to turn this off the hard way, aren't I? Okay. Just a grumpy PC. I'm going to boot it up without putting another stick in it. Just to make sure I haven't broken anything. If it's only going to work with that in there, I'm just going to leave it. It's detected I've changed the amount of RAM again. I mean, the only other thing I could do if I really want to populate both slots is uh, put two 64s in. Let's go for normal first. Come on, behave. these boots so I can put the cover back on. Oh, I didn't find a floppy disk to try that. I think they're all in the outside cupboard anyway so I wouldn't be able to get them tonight. No. Pardon me. Yes! Right. Leave it. <laughs> Don't touch it, it's working. At least don't touch it. You know, mechanically. We don't need to touch it anymore. I'm just going to put this on. I'm not going to bother putting a sound card or anything in it. Because uh, we've got the onboard audio, which is working fine. Doesn't sound the best, but in fairness, I've heard a lot worse. So, there we go. Hmm. You can just see it all sort of waving around, all the liquid crystal. Hmm. I think the monitor's still usable as it is, but I will try and find another one. Seeing as I seem to have uh, broken this one somehow. Brilliant. Well, I don't even need to uh, put any drivers on, do I? Because they all seem to work as well. Like I said, I haven't tried the Ethernet yet. I don't think I could anyway, because I don't think Internet Explorer is going to work at all, not on this one. But awesome, it's keeping... Oh, actually, I don't know if it is keeping time and date. It should, because I've got a brand new BIOS battery in there. Should we try it one more? We'll try it once more just to see if that's going to... So we'll shut down properly. I'll unplug the power cable from the back here for a few seconds, plug it back in, and we'll see if it'll hold time and day. Unplug it, it's unplugged. Plug it back in. Fire her up. And it 
should have prompted us to reset the time and day. Brilliant. But it's keeping time and day. Brilliant. Super. I'm well chuffed. I literally took a gamble with this for 60 quid. <laughs> I think you take a damp sponge to it or something. It's like it might be stored in a warehouse or something. Probably got a bit of grease or something on that. But she's working. Everything is working as far as I know. I haven't tried this yet. Might leave that for another video because like I said, I can't get to my floppy disks. I don't think there's any in the cupboard in the hallway. Hang on, let me just pause the camera and I'm just going to have a look. No, they're not out there, unfortunately. They're going to be buried in the outside cupboard, so... Mm -hmm. I have to uh, dig those out for another day. But success! And all it needed was a hard drive and a BIOS battery. Oh, we've got a different background pick now. Not that I'm complaining, I actually quite like that shade of blue. Microsoft Windows 98. SE, it should be. Yep. I don't use anything other than second edition. Right, we're going to end the video here then, guys. Success, I do need to clean it, like I said. I'm not going to do that while it's plugged in, though. Perhaps I should have cleaned this cover before I put it back. Actually, it'd be a good idea. I'll take this off to clean it. Right. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I hope you did enjoy the video and found it useful or interesting. I think I need to adjust my screen a bit. Look, <laughs> black line at the bottom and the top bits are just off the screen there. Um, yeah, so thanks a lot for watching, everyone. As always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And uh, if you did like what you've seen and you want to see more random stuff like this or other random stuff, please hit the subscribe button. It's totally free. Uh, and if you check out the video description, I will put links down there to my other two YouTube channels my Discord server and my Twitch channel, so feel free to check all of those out, and I will uh, see you all in the next video. Bye!